The RCA dog, Nipper, who lived from 1884 to 1895, belonged to Mark Barad, decorator for a London theatre. The dog was born in Bristol, England. Commonly identified as a fox terrier, the RCA dog Nipper was more likely a terrier mix. He may have had bull terrier in him, but some think he was a Jack Russell terrier. The name Nipper came about because of his tendency as a puppy to greet strangers by biting their legs. In 1887, when Mark Barad died unexpectedly, his brother Francis Barad, who lived from 1856 to 1924, a painter, took Nipper home with him to Liverpool. The first painting depicting Nipper was called Dog Watching and Listening to a Phonograph and showed a dog looking inside a cylinder phonograph pavilion. Not mentioned on the official website, but stated by other sources, this painting would come to be called His Master's Voice. The story goes that along with the dog, Mark Barad also left his brother with a series of cylinder recordings of him speaking. When these cylinders were played, Nipper would run to the phonograph and look into the horn, desperate to find where his master was, but unable to find him. This would continue for eight years until 1895, with Nipper's passing. While the imagery was no doubt etched in his memory, Francis would not end up painting this picture until 1898, three years after Nipper had died. Soon after Nipper's death, Thinking commercially and noting that Nipper was listening to an Edison Bell cylinder, Barad wrote to the Edison Bell Company in New Jersey to sell them the painting for use in their advertisements. But the representatives of the company failed to see how it could help sales and turned to down his offer because they believed that dogs don't listen to photographs, as was their cold and unimaginative conclusion. Friends of Barad, however, liked the painting and suggested to Barad that he might make it more appealing by substituting a gold horn to replace the black Edison horn. Barad liked the idea, but needed a gold horn from which to model the new version of the painting. So he visited Barry Owen, the manager of Liverpool's newly formed gramophone company, who understood the commercial possibilities. He offered to buy the painting and the rights to it if Barad would make it a record gramophone instead of a cylinder phonograph, which Barad did. A deal was made for both the painting and the copyright, and in October 1899, the deal was sealed when Barad delivered the painting. At first, the Gramophone Company Limited of London used the image sparingly in England. Then Emil Berliner, who lived from 1851 to 1928, the U.S. inventor of the gramophone, talked to Owen about assigning to him the U.S. rights to the use the picture. Owen did so, and in the U.S., Berliner was working with the Victor Talking Machine Company, which made the Victrola. In 1929, the American rights were acquired when the company became RCA Victor, and became known for radios as well as phonographs and records. For both Victrola and later for RCA Victor, and eventually RCA Company, the Nipper trademark became well known. The RCA dog Nipper thus gained notoriety on both sides of the ocean. In the mid-20th century, so great was the Inquisitive Terrier's fame that RCA erected a 4-ton, 26-foot-tall Nipper atop its headquarters in Albany, New York, where it remains a city landmark. The Nipper figurines and statues in the collection are another way Nipper was used in advertising Victor products. The dogs were distributed by the Victor Company to stores that sold their products, and their size was proportional to the amount of Victor products a store sold. Charles Templeton loved the business aspect of music, and that is likely why there are so many of these dog statues in the collection. Thank you for coming along with us on this video tour of the Templeton Museum. We hope you enjoyed these videos as much as we did making them, and hope you learned something along the way. If you're interested in visiting the Templeton Museum, or any other part of the library, feel free to check the link in this video's description. Thank you so much, and have a great day.